All right, so what we have here is a bow tie problem. Now, these two triangles are similar. And the reason I know these two triangles are similar is because similar triangles have all corresponding angles that are exactly the same. This angle here is exactly the same as this angle here and their corresponding angles. This angle here corresponds to this angle right here and they're both exactly the same. That's two angles, but for both triangles to be similar, the three corresponding angles must be the same. Well, if this is 92 and this is 92, and this is 47 and this is 47, then this third angle has to be exactly the same as this third angle here, because when we add up all the angles in the triangle, what do we get? 180 degrees. So we're gonna go 92 plus 47 plus X, is gonna get me 180 degrees. Ninety-two plus forty-seven is one hundred thirty-nine. Plus x equals one hundred and eighty degrees. I subtract one thirty-nine from both sides, and now I get x equals. 41 degrees. So that's the value of X. Have I figured out the value of Y yet? Yes or no? No, not yet. So I got to figure out the value of Y. To figure out the value of Y, since I know both triangles are similar, I have to highlight corresponding sides. So I'm going to take this pink marker right now and highlight 24. Jesse, if I highlight 24, on the bigger triangle, what side corresponds to 24? Mm -hmm. 4x and negative 2, yeah. So this side right here corresponds to 24. But to figure out the scale factor, I need sides that have actual numbers and not variables, right? So I'm going to use 32 and 40. Because 32 corresponds to 40. So I'm going to find the scale factor. Scale factor is going to be new over original. Now is when we have to decide which side is the new and which side is the original. What you want is, you want the new side to be the side that has the variable. So if this has the variable, then this shape is the new. This shape is the original. Which means the new side that I'm going to be using is 40. The original side that I'm going to be using is 32 because they correspond. They're corresponding sides. Now, I'm going to divide 40, 30 seconds by a giant one. Amari, do you have my giant one? Amari does not have our giant one. Brian? That's not a giant one. Eight eighths. Forty divided by eight? Five. Thirty-two divided by eight? So our scale factor is five fourths. Are we done? Nope. Now we gotta find the missing side. I'm gonna erase this right here so that I can use this space to find the missing side, okay? Alicia, what is the formula to find the missing side? No, that's for the scale factor. Original times the scale factor equals new. I'm working with 4x minus 2 because that's what I'm finding. 
That means I'm working with 24. 24 is the original, so I'm gonna go 24 times the scale factor, which is 5 fourths, equals the new, which is 4x minus 2. I'm gonna use cross canceling. 24 divided by 4? 24 divided by 4? Oh, let's try that again. 24 divided by 4? 6. 6 times 5? 30. 30 equals 4x minus 2. What am I going to do to both sides right now? Add 2. 32 equals 4x. Divide each side by 4. And the value of x is 8. Okay, I hope that helps. First period, say hi to second through fifth. Yo, what up? Bye. Say bye. bye. Say click like and subscribe. Like, 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 like.